Hello friends, welcome to GTech and Grow. This is Troubleshoot IP Configuration 1. You can go ahead and read all the instructions. We have been given the parameters. In this lab, your task is to troubleshoot and fix the issues, the issue using the following procedures. From, from the Office 2 computer, use the ping and IP config command to test connectivity. So, from Office 1 computer, you use the ping and IP config com command. You go to start from Office 2 computer, sorry. You go to Thema Admin. We'll start by pinging the pinging, pinging the IP IP addresses and see which of the ping will work and which will not work. Ping one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot ten. This one worked, zero loss. Next ping one nine two dot one six one six eight dot zero dot three one this was also successful cop server and IT admin was successful ping one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot three four this was also successful so let's ping now the isp we have 198.28.2.254 oh sorry i didn't put i didn't pass the ping command ping 19 excuse me ping 19 198.28.2.254 So the ISP ping command did not work. Let's run the IP config and see the information for this one for Office 2 computer. IP config. So we can see the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 we can see the default gateway just take note 192.168.0.4 and we can see the IP address okay so let's see answer question 1 and 2 from office 2 which of the pings failed so the ping that failed is that for isp it wasn't successful what is the ip address and default gate of the default gateway assigned to office 2 default gateway so this is it 192. the ip address of the default gateway 192.168.0.4 I had, I had done it before so we can close this and next from IT admin computer use the ping and IP config so we go to floor 1 go to IT admin and right click on start and go to terminal admin let's ping the IP addresses again and check the connectivity we have to do that fast to keep the video short ping 192.168.0.10 
successful being the next one 192.168.0.3431 excuse me successful ping it's important that you do the ping command so you'll be sure of which computer is communicating with which dot one sixty eight dot zero dot three four so that was also successful and lastly the ISP ping one ninety eight dot two eight dot two dot two five four just like the office two computer if this one was not successful also let's run the IP config to see the properties IP config to see the properties for oh excuse me I missed out the I IP config so they have the same gateway as office 2 they has the same gateway as office 2 and subnet mask also so answer question 3 and 4 I have to answer question three and four. Question three says from the item in which of which if any pings failed, still the ISP. What is the IP address of the default gateway assigned to IT admin? We saw it here. Let's minimize this. Default gateway. This is it. So the IP address is 192.168.0.4. Minimize this. Okay. And we've answered question 3 and 4. From the COP server computer, use the pin and IP com command. So we are going to the COP server server we go to PowerShell right click on start and go to PowerShell admin we run the ping command ping 192.168.0.4.10 successful ping 192.168.0.31 successful ping 192.168.0.31 dot three four successful ping one ninety two you must not do all this I'm just doing this for for clarity dot one sixty eight but it's advisable you do it dot zero excuse we are done with this one one ninety two one ninety eight dot two eight dot two dot two five four and all the ping commands were successful for this we can run IP config to see why it was successful here the ISP ping in was successful on the cop server computer and it was not successful on the others let's see the result when we run ip config let's see the default gateway uh default gateway for v ethernet in 
okay default gateway for v internet external so we can see already from here from the other computers office 2 and admin the default gateway was 192.168.0.4 why here we have 192.168.0.5 that already indicates there has to be some changes on the other networks so answer question 5 yes i already answered question five the default gateway for cop server is different yeah so we already answered that question using the cop dhcp server using the cop dhcp server so we have to go to cop dhcp to fix this problem i'll just minimize that Cop server, expand this, go to Cop DHCP, double click, go to tools, go to DHCP, expand the Cop DHCP, expand. So now on, on this, We can see the next thing we have to do here now is to change the configuration of this I think scope options let me check router okay so we have to change this configuration we have to change Yes, so we have to change this and we remove this and put the, the same default gateway on the other networks 192.16 that will match with the other networks which is uh, 192.168.0.5 we add it and you can click OK okay and next we have to go to it admin go back to floor one it admin we do ip config renew ip config slash renew so let it connect to the new default gateway when you do that now you can see the default gateway has changed to 192.168.0.5 if we try to ping the isp you will see now that it will be successful let's check it out ping 198.168.0.5 dot two dot two five four hopefully it works <laughs> let's see please don't forget to hit the subscribe button yes we got it it worked don't forget to subscribe to this channel friends it's just an encouragement to me and to like the video so what's the next requirement we go to IP, uh, office 2 also and do the same Office 2 IP IP config renew okay let's try the ping again to ping the ISP ping 198.28.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.